Sup guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today I want to try to solve this subarray sums equal k problem from lead code. Uh, this is a this is a straightforward problem, but it kind of I mean you can take a force brute a brute force approach uh, in here like it says here, uh, like you can try like let's just first read the problem right. I'm I'm going to the, the solutions first so. So given an array of integers uh, and an integer k, which is the target, uh, uh, you need to find the total number of continuous subarrays whose sum equals k. So subarray, it's it's like it's a, like a sublist inside your list that of continue of adjacent numbers, uh, and you need to find. So this is kind of a similar problem from the the the, the, the two number sum, three number sum, except that this one. It can be a hundred number sum, right? And of course, one solution for this is to you could create all generate all subarrays possible from your array and then and and sum all the items in all subarrays and and for item one we add a counter and we return the counter again. That it's would be a solution for this uh not the most optimal one uh an optimal solution for this that i found and it's also the one that they have it on the solution one of the ones that they have on the solution here it's one that where you we use a hash map um and yeah and the way the way we do this is uh so so we use a hash map, we use a variable, which I'm going to call running sum, and we have a counter, right? And the way we, the way we do this is that, <coughs> let's say for that array, over, that array over there, that one is really easy, but like, um, yeah, this one over here. Uh, you, you basically iterate over uh, your array, right? And for every number, you add to your running sum. So you add by the end of this three number array, your running sum would be three, right? Uh, but your target is two, right? So target is two. And your map you start your map and this is going to make sense in, in a moment with a zero your map is here to keep track of the of all the sums possible in in your array uh starting from zero <laughs> right <coughs> so and at the at, at the end you have zero so so you have here and then the what you do for each one of these guys right what you do for each one of these guys is that first you calculate the running sum right so here you have running sum equals zero yeah and let's just say here uh country equals zero right running sum equals zero so now running sum is equals one and then what you do here is that you check if your running sum minus the target is in your map so running sum minus two is is that in my map no it's not right because uh yeah one minus two it's going to be minus one so you so you, that's not in your map right yeah that's not in your map so then so you haven't found that so you move on and then you add the running sum which is one and you found one and then you move to this next guy and then you're running some now is two and now you say hey is the running sum minus my target in my map oh it's here it's zero and this is where it makes sense for you to to start with zero and it makes a lot of this makes a lot of sense to illustrate when you're starting the the subarray from index zero so from index zero to where i am it's obvious that we have a target two that's why you start with zero because running some minus two is equal zero so then you're gonna add this guy <coughs> to the counter right and and then you're and then you're gonna add a running sum here two plus one 
and then you move on to the next one right and then your running sum is three right and then ah, it's running sum minus my target uh, so it's three minus two equals one is that in my array oh it is how many times one and then that just means that that from wherever wherever I found one as my sum until where I am that's a subarray that has the target whatever it is right and in this case it's this and then I have to and at the end I'm gonna return target and that's pretty much it it took me a couple of tries to 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 figure this out and, and actually to be able to explain it I had to read the solution because I, 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 I was able to solve it but I wasn't able to explain it correctly so I had to read it, read through the solution and say oh this is a good way to explain it so because that's one of those things that you <coughs> you can do it but you can't explain it right so uh, so this is one of those so let's just let's just do this right so so we have a run sum equals zero uh we have our sums it our map which we are gonna add zero here and we have a counter equals zero right and then for i in range link nums okay then first thing to do is that we up our running sum by nums i right and now we check if uh, is running sum minus k in our sums if it is we up the counter by sums running sum minus k which is the guy that we found and in here and after that we add the running sum running sum to our our map and we're gonna use the solution here uh, set, uh, set the full Mm. running sum before zero if it doesn't exist plus one really easy python makes it really easy for us to do this sort of stuff return count and that's it That's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope I could explain this right, and see you next time, hit that subscribe button please, uh, see ya, bye.